Right, John. So we've just done this beach boxing, uh, yep. New Brighton Beach on Friday morning. Mm -hmm. But you're doing a retreat. But your back, your background is in boxing, Thai boxing, and yet you want us to do a retreat. So is it going to be sports based or not? Definitely not. It's definitely not going to be sports based. So I want to reassure you and everyone else. Definitely not sports based. Essentially, it's about making you feel better in who you are mm -hmm. by changing your belief system. That's what the whole retreat's about. So it's not sports based, even though that's my background. So what's the purpose of this retreat then? Well, first and foremost, it's about having a laugh. It's about having fun meeting friends, but most importantly about creating a set of tools, coping strategies and tools that you can use, reach down to, so when you're anxious or, or stressful, you can use these tools. But above all, you're going to start with a laugh and you're going to finish having a laugh. Right. Sounds good to me. So the prices for this Spanish retreat, right, are for dual rooms. But hang on, if I'm single, does that mean I have to shack up with someone else then? Hey, do you know what? That is a great point. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Okay, yeah. I should, I should have made that more obvious. You're absolutely right. So the £38 a night is for the room that's shared. But you can have a room by yourself and that's something that you want. So you don't have to shack up with, but you have to accept that. Instead of the £38, it'll be £76 a night. So there'll be uh, an inflated cost, but st still, you know, at uh, £327 for the shared room uh, and an extra £38 over the four nights. It's, uh, in, you know, it's not a lot of money, it's still a really great value retreat yeah. if you want a room by yourself, and yet you can do that. So if I'm, I mean, is someone going to be safe like that? I mean, where, where is it? I mean, is it in a place that's going to be safe for a single person like me? Yeah, absolutely. It really will be a safe place. And that, again, that's a great question, Hayley. So thanks for giving me a bit of our time over that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It will be a safe space because you're in a lovely hotel. You're in a, 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 a publicly owned, so it's a, a council uh, hotel. But that may, may sound... It, may, some people might think it get the wrong impression. It really is a well-run hotel. And what I've also got to say to you is about the food, because I, I've, that's something else. Uh, yeah, you're going to be really in a safe space. Uh, it's a council-run hotel, but it's a really good hotel. It's a four-star equivalent hotel. The accommodation is, is brilliant. But what I should have also said, and I failed to say before you give me a hard time over that, is that the price of the food is also great. So, you, you know, if you're a fish with a big fish, fill your place, or a steak, Whatever it is that, that you, you like, you're paying about 15, euro, 15 pounds for a full meal. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. So quite frankly, well, nobody's going to lose any weight on this retreat then, because they're all going to be eating everything, <laughs> as well as doing the exercises as well, and, and socialising with everyone. Quite frankly. Well, it's, the, the retreat itself is not about losing weight. That may be a, se a secondary factor, but we've certainly not there to, uh, gone there to, to put on weight. What we've gone there is to uh, learn coping strategies to make us feel better about ourselves by changing our belief systems. So yeah. that, that's that's the real that's the real outcome that we're looking for. That'd be good because I'm an emotional eater. So quite frankly, that sounds like that. So, obviously, it's getting quite late now. How can we be sure that there's going to be flights that are? Included, you know, that we can actually catch a, a flight in time. Your terms could be a hard time. I am, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. All, all right, I got it. I got it. Okay, yeah. All right, fair, fair shout. I've been emailing people who are on the email list with the flight details. There are flights on the morning, so when you get there, so you can get there on time. What I will do in this video and in the comments, I will put the flight links. So, are you satisfied with that? Well, let's satisfy you. Yeah, it? can we all sit together or? Or we well, it, I think you, no, you probably won't be able to sit together unless you want to pay a bit more. Yeah. So if you're going with a friend, I think uh, like most Ryanair and EasyJet allow you to do it. But I, I guess it's a great question. But you know what? What I like about jumping on a plane like that is meeting somebody new and having a different conversation. But all yeah. people are different. I accept that. You want to sit next to your mates, you might pay a couple of bucks. <laughs> okay, cool. So, hang on though, with it being a retreat, is there actually going to be time for retreat and relax and re reflection? Or are you just going to be making it so that we're working so hard and so that we're going to need another holiday when we get back? <laughs> That's a great question. You 
you are today, but it's going to be a hard time on, 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 on this, okay. <laughs> no, Haley, there will be plenty of time for reflection, I promise you this is this. So the sort of programme for the day is that you, we are up early, we start early, uh, probably about 7.15, we'll go on. Yes, it's an early rise, but that's because it's so hot in the afternoon. So we wake early in the morning, stop a bit for our breakfast, come back to it, and we're going to stop just before lunchtime, and then we'll, we'll between sort of 12 to 5 o'clock, give you a rough guide that we won't be doing anything but you'll come back between five till about half past seven you come back then have you have your dinner and then we'll come back maybe for an evening meditation or, or something like that oh, nice. and there's one afternoon on the wednesday afternoon there's no activity at all so you've got the chance to visit the the local village of pueblo blanco as it is uh, which is a beautiful village or, or there's a town very close by so we we have fixed those things in yeah. so all afternoon okay and later on in the evening you, mm -hmm. you know but but the idea is 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 that you go away feeling better about yourself because you feel more able to cope and that's the objective of the retreat okay brilliant thank you because i know i've come at this with quite a lot of skepticism but i mean your group in itself is a fantastic you know family that i've come to see as, as well anyway so thank you very much for your honest opinions and your your feedback your company pain point coach I mean, can you explain why that is, is why you like inflicting pain on people? <laughs> <laughs> Haley, I don't know what to say to that. Right, okay. Only you could ask a question like that. Okay, so <laughs> pain points. Most people have some pain points within their life and we respond in two ways to them. We either move away from pain and then we either move closer to something we find pleasurable. And that's, and that's the way we normally deal with things in life. What the pain point is about is about identifying your pain points, but instead of live, living with them, it's about having coping strategies or changing your belief systems and finding ways of coping with them. So even the most confident person, they may seem confident, what they have is a coping strategy and a way to deal with things on a daily basis. And that's exactly what they do. They practice at being confident, and we're giving you the tool to be able to do that. Brilliant. Right, someone said to me yesterday that your advert for, for this retreat um, says things like Espana and B&B. Why didn't you just put Spain and bed and breakfast? Why do you have to go all push on us? You kill them here, Ellie. You kill them here. Right, okay. All right, all right. Why didn't they do it? Okay, okay. I thought, in fairness, that I was being clever to, and saying it in Spain, I hope most people associate it with Spain, okay, so you got me on that one. All right, so that, that's why, and I thought the name sort of, I thought it had a, a, bit of, a bit of rhythm, a bit of twist to the name. Anyway, that's why I thought I thought it was being clever. That was it. You were. I, I, okay. You were. It's well, just uh, some, you just can't please everybody, can you, quite frankly? I'm B&B, &B, yeah, bed and breakfast. Maybe I should have wrote that in. I, I, I'll take that one on the chin. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> like that. Like that. Like that. Learned that this morning. <laughs> Keep that bit. Keep that bit. Good job. I was going to say. Thank you very much for your honest answers. This is Hayley Hilton from Beach Boxing TV. Out.